Everyone, welcome to another Mind and Muscle Transformation Diary. This is Adam, and I'm about to head in for a lower body workout. So I just wanted to uh, pick up where I left off yesterday as far as the uh, training split. So like I said, I adjusted uh, the training split so I can have better recuperation and uh, recovery and, you know, so I don't overdo it and don't put too much stress uh, on the legs between work and you know, the training and everything. So uh, this this would be the only the second uh, leg workout of the week instead of the prior uh, three. Okay, and I'm actually happy about that uh, adjustment. Now, what I want to also uh, include in this, because we're talking rest and recuperation and recovery, another important factor in that equation, the rest to recuperation and recovery, is quality sleep. And this is something that I've struggled with, you know, for a long, long time, ever since my mid-teens, really. I've, you know, I could, you know, I had a hard time falling asleep, hard time staying asleep, you know, Sometimes not getting enough sleep. Sometimes, you know, you know different issues. Different issues. Uh, so, well, well, what's important about sleep is, you know, obviously there's like a lot of benefits. So I'm not gonna go into that. I'm pretty sure anybody who's watching this doesn't, doesn't need introduction on uh, how important your sleep is. What what I do want to mention though is that it's important for you to get enough sleep because that's like the prime time where the muscle growth happens and also something that is probably not as well known is that you know quality sleep equates to less cravings of sugary foods, junk food, you know, that stuff that's going to throw your diet off. So those are important as far as like fitness goes, right? Um, your performance and your your body composition are you know, improve noticeably when you're getting quality sleep. You know, so the key point here is you want to make sure you get enough sleep, time-wise, duration-wise, and you want to make sure that you're getting quality sleep. So quantity and quality, they're not interchangeable. You want to hit both of those marks. Um, I mean, I would say like yes, there is a difference between how much each individual is gonna need as far as sleep goes, but I've yeah, I have yet to see somebody that you know is functioning at full speed or like not missing out on some of the fitness or health benefits that sleeping under five hours, like five hours like is like the bare minimum for you to get everything that you want, but. You know, even then, like it's still not ideal, but you know that's like to, to put a bare minimum on it, based on my experience, based on like the survey that I've done on myself, on the people that I've come in contact with, the people uh, that I've trained as far as clients go. Uh, so there's that. Now I will be, you know, putting up another video where I will talk about some vitamins and some supplements that have helped me get better quality sleep. But for today. This was it. Until tomorrow, stay well, stay strong, stay smart.